Did you ever try to run away from home when you were a kid? How far did you get? I received my map of the road to El Dorado via Burger King Kids Meal. I didn't know what the map was for, how far it would be, or even how to read it. None of that mattered. Burger King gave me a mission, and I could not fail them. Not again. I packed my shit, Pokemon cards and a light snack, and I would leave in the morning. I told my parents of my trip who supported me in my endeavors. The next morning I announced my departure and kissed my loved ones goodbye. I walked across the street heading towards the forest. When I got to the mouth of the woods I heard was sounded like a snake. I screamed and ran back to my house. It turns out my dad was throwing rocks at the trees. Speaking of rocks and running away, my 7 year old brother decided he would run away after some argument with my parents. He packed a suitcase and left it at the door, but for some reason he went back up to his room and sulked for a while. During this sulk fest, my dad put a load of rocks in the suitcase. So my brother comes downstairs and announces that he is leaving. Cue everyone okay see ya. He tries to grab the suitcase and it won't budge one bit. The family on the floor laughing. He crying with tears of frustration. Trial did strikes again. I was 7. I didn't make it out of the house because my I'm running away letter, which mom found when I was putting on my shoes, had a spelling mistake and she started making fun of me and I got very embarrassed, so I went in my room instead. So just like Reddit. Berkeley, CA, 1969. I was 6 years old. My buddy, 7, said he had a cousin in Tahoe who had snowmobiles. We were going snowmobiling. We walked to the freeway on ramp and stuck out our thumbs. A dude picked us up and asked where we were going. He was cool with taking us there. He took us to a hot dog stand, bought us hot dogs, and called the cops. Fucker ruined our trip. At least you got hot dogs. Yeah. I don't remember my parents freaking out either. I bet they just said something like, don't do that again. Apostrophe. I pretended to run away when I was like 4. I wrote a note. Left it on the kitchen counter and then hid in the closet. The fatal flaw in my plan was that, being 4, I had no idea how to write. Needless to say my scribbles were not taken seriously and nobody went looking for me. That was a long couple hours in the closet. Feels bad, man. I was 14 and had been sneaking out at night with my best friends who were brothers, Kevin 14 and Scott 16, for a couple months. Scott and Kevin's parents were divorced, doctor and lawyer, and frequently traveled out of town, leaving their many BMWs all alone, and in desperate need of some love and attention, which we were happy to provide. On a typical night we'd be out from 1 to 5 AM, driving around doing stupid teenage stuff in and around Detroit, Michigan. We all took turns driving even though Kevin and I didn't even have our permit yet. We started picking up other kids from school to join in the fun. So eventually stories of our exploits made their way around school. Some kid told his parents what we were doing and they, in turn, called my parents and Scott and Kevin's parents. Not having had time to come up with matching stories we were all pretty well busted. Punishments included no driver license until we turned 18. Not able to go out with friends for a couple months. Etc. Etc. Pretty understandable. Considering what we had been doing. Kevin and I felt the punishment was too severe and we decided our parents should be taught a lesson. We agreed to run away together in the misguided hopes that our parents would realize how much they love and miss us and then they would be more lenient with us. Scott decided not to come. Smart move. The night we got busted by our parents for all the sneaking out. Kevin snuck out of his house again and withdrew a couple hundred dollars with his mom's ATM card. The following day before school I swiped my mom's Amoco, gas station, credit card and radar detector. At about 10am Kevin and I left school, walked to his mom's house, grabbed the keys to one of her BMWs and took off. We drove all the way from Michigan to Colorado and once there managed to rent a hotel room and skis. Spent a couple days skiing in khakis and school shirts. No jackets and only one set of gloves to share at Arapaho Basin and Keystone until we ran out of money. Then we drove back home. Our reception was not as we had envisioned. But then again I don't know what the hell we were thinking. I have kids of my own now and I can't imagine how I would handle it if they ever pull a stunt like that. 
I tried once. Got a block away, because I realized I left my gamma boy color at home. You can never leave your gamma boy color at home. When my ex-husband was about 10 he told his mom that he was going to run away from home. Expecting a totally different reaction from here than he got. She stripped his butt naked. Told him he came into her world naked and he would leave it the same way and out on the doorstep she put him. Lol. That is the only thing I care to remember about that woman, and I swore, if our son ever told me he was going to run away, that I would do the same thing. Bizarre. But effective. But bizarre. Didn't try to run away, but my mum packed a bag for me, and threw it out of the house, and said I have to leave too. All because I didn't do my homework and my teacher called. I was 10. Asian parents. You can always get your own back when it comes to choosing a nursing home for them in later life. For Asian parents, their nursing home is usually one of their kids' house. Posted this before but it's relevant. I got mad at some imagined slight when I was about 5 years old and decided to run away from home. My mom seriously tried to talk me out of it, then gave up and helped me pack a bag with an article or two of clothing and my favorite stuffed animal and a few toys. She asked me what are you going to eat? So I asked her to make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for the road. She did. I then proceeded to very solemnly tell her goodbye and went down the steps to the sidewalk and took off down the street. After a few minutes she came down to the corner where I had been standing for a few minutes and asked what was wrong. I turned to her all angry with tears running down my face and said I can't cross the road by myself. I never tried to run away from home, but I did once try to run away to home. I was born and raised on an American Air Force base in Germany, since my father is American, and was in the Air Force for a very long time. We lived in a neighboring German town off base a few kilometers away, but everything including school etc. was inside the base. I was about 8 or 9 at the time, and I used to like to hang out at this after school club and play games with my friends. My father picked me up after school and drove me to the club. But when I got to the doors I noticed they were locked, and there was a sign saying it was closed that day. By the time I had turned around, my father had already driven away and gone home. I was really bummed out, and didn't really know where to go to find a phone or anything. So after walking all the way to the other side of the base to the hangars where he worked to find everyone gone, I decided I might as well just walk home. The base's entrance and exit is always guarded by a couple of armed soldiers. And to get inside you have to show an ID card. To get out however, it's usually no problem. But apparently they found it rather suspicious when an 8 year old bummed out kid with a backpack walked right past them and away from the base. I had actually managed to walk quite far before one of the soldiers caught up with me. Rifle drawn and telling me to stand still and put down my bag. Already having had a bad experience that day, and now scared as shit. I did what he said, while bursting to tears. They brought me back to their post, after searching my bag in my pockets, and realizing I wasn't a threat. And then I explained who I was, and what I was doing. When my dad picked me up, I was helping them check the IDs of people driving into the base. TLDR, Air Force kid tries to sneak out of the base to go home and gets caught. Epic. Thanks for sharing. I tried. Didn't make it down the street, because I wasn't allowed to cross it by myself. My parents said years later, that they had the hardest time not laughing, when I came back so shortly after storming out. Ran away around the age of 12. During the summer. Decent weather. In a major city. Slept on a deli rooftop next to a warm vent. Along with a friend, who died in prison a few years ago. Got really hungry and really dirty, after about 3 days. Went to my grandmother's, and then moved about 18 times in the next 16 years. Life is still currently in flux. Borderline homeless, sleeping on a relative's floor, but working steady freelance. Trying to remain positive and climb up the mountain back to stability. The porch. I would get mad, and threaten to run away. My dad finally got fed up with my empty threats, and packed a bag for me, and put me, and the bag outside. I cried and won't leave the porch. Never threatened to run away again. I was 9 ish We had a big porch you could hide under. My mom pissed me off somehow when I was 6. So I grabbed my backpack and started filling it with food and said goodbye. 
went under the porch, and lasted maybe 10 minutes cause it was starting to get dark out. It was 7 or 8. Mum said I had to clean my room before I could play Super Mario Brothers. I cracked it, and she started giving me the silent treatment. I left the house and got as far as three houses away before I burst into tears. I turned around to head back home, and mum was standing behind me. But I was bouncing a ball in my room, and it shattered the light above me. My mom got pissed at me and yelled so I decided I was going to leave home. I grabbed my stuffed raccoon, hopped on my bike and took off. I made it a few blocks up before deciding to come home. Good thing too, I didn't realize that a piece of glass had come down and cut me, causing me to bleed. What was a stuffed raccoon for? Food. Haha. <laughs> no he was my favorite toy, so I had to take him along with me. I don't think I had any idea on what I was going to do for food. At 12 I packed a bag and split. Took the long way to a friend's house, where I was going to crash. Almost immediately upon entering friend's room, mom calls. She tells me that I'm not allowed to run away. Comes and picks me up. Oh well. That was you told. UMM. Yep. I threatened to leave. And my mother just said okay. After grabbing my stuffed animals in my book bag. I walked through the kitchen. Only to have my mother stop me and give me a banana. Saying I might get hungry out there. Then I left. I made it to the first street light. 20 feet from the driveway before turning around and crying to my mom. So close. I was maybe 6 or 7. Did you have to give back the banana? Not quite sure what I did with it. Knowing me. Probably let it rot in my backpack. In the 6th grade I used to stay home from school a lot. Mostly because I didn't do my homework. Because of this I rarely had a good idea of what was happening any particular day at school. One day I arrive at school on the bus and find my classroom empty. This was the day of a class canoe trip for which I did not bring money, food, or extra clothing. In a panic, I ran out the back door of the school, down the street, across a farm, and arrived home. This is when I found out the school slash my parents called the cops. Oops. TL. Doctor ran home from school. Cops were called. I ran away once, when I was 5. I got as far as under the kitchen table. I think that's more of a crawl. To be honest. Lived in the suburbs made it to downtown street. Paul when I was 14 yo. Almost got on a greyhound to Chicago. But decided to go home instead. Yeah. I was a pussy. Which suburb? I grew up in South Street. Paul. And currently live in Invergrove Heights. To the end of my road. Then my mom told me to stay in the yard. My brother, around 6 years old, I think, packed a bag and said I'm running away. My mom told him that's fine, but if you leave the yard you get a spanking. So he had an eventful trip to the fence and back. I wasn't trying to run away in this situation, but my family all freaked out and thought I had. I took dance classes when I was in elementary school for 3 years. All of a sudden the dance teacher quit, and I slash hated slash the new chick with a passion. For no real reason, she just wasn't the old teacher. So, during dance class at the Iwaka I convinced her that my mom was outside waiting for me, and I left and went next door to the library to wait. But, I lost track of time reading a red wall book or something, and by the time I realized that it was an hour past the usual pickup time, my mom was freaking out outside. Had called my estranged father accusing him of kidnapping me, called the police to report me missing, and was scouring the alleyways in the neighborhood. D. I felt bad. I almost got to best Korea in 1975 and my family and I are living on a military base in S. Korea. I remember getting mad that my mom wouldn't let me have my army parachuter guy, you know. The little plastic ones with the cheap tissue parachutes that you'd throw into the air and watch float back down. So I ran away. I walked through several rice padders, down a few dirt roads, and wound up at the front gate of a major helicopter base. Not even a mile from the Z. The air crews kind of adopted me and piled me up with swag while the MPs tried to figure who my parents were. Later that night, the MPs gave me a ride back to the village I lived in. And dropped me back off with my parents. I was 5. I still have pics of me sitting in the cockpit of a cobra. 
A little woolen vest festooned with their crew patches and such and a stuffed panda with a rolled k-pot on its head. Can you please post a pic of you sitting in a cobra? That's just... badass. I'll try to get my dad to scan it this weekend. When I was 4. I broke one of my grandma's Christmas ornaments. It was just a plain glass bulb. But I was so scared that grandma would be mad at me that I concluded the only solution was to run away forever. Having learned how to do such things from cartoons, I got a dish towel and made a hobo style bundle with some toys, my blankie, and cookies. My mom and grandma saw me through the kitchen window, trudging across the yard on my way to start a new life somewhere in the neighbor's backyard. Grandma caught me before I made it past the flower beds and apparently thought it was so cute slash funny I didn't even get in trouble for breaking the ornament. You win the word for most adorable story. I was 15 and got into an argument with my mom while she was driving me home. I told her to stop the car, stepped out and started walking. She kept pace with me in the car for about a minute before driving off. I walked several miles to a friend's house crying pretty much the whole way. When I got there, the parents ratted me out and my stepdad came and picked me up. I ran away because my mom kicked me out of the house on my 16th birthday due to a gift my father bought me. I made it to my best friend's house across the yard for the day lol. You got kicked out because of a gift your dad bought. What on earth was the gift? My father bought me a paintball marker and my entire mom's side of the family thought I was going to become some sort of sociopath. Which is ironic because my grandfather shoots 45s for competition. I ran away a few times when I was a kid. My parents never stopped me and I was always home for supper. Usually because my friends couldn't have a sleepover in the middle of the week. So I had no place to stay. Or I got hungry. One time my mother even made me a lunch pack. So I wouldn't get too hungry out there in the wild. I think I forgot what I was doing after a bit. And thought of my little trip as a mission. To discover the lost land of something and went home when I got thirsty. I made it to the front door and mom said, if you think you can find it better somewhere else, go ahead and try. I thought it over and went back upstairs. When I was young, about 4 years old, I got in a fight with my older sister. I defiantly announced that I would run away. So naturally my sister ran to tell my mom what I was doing. My mom came up and asked me if there was anything I needed before I went. She pulled out my pink plastic Barbie suitcase and starting putting a few essentials in it. Be sure to take spare socks and underwear. Do you need want a sandwich? You're going to need something to eat. Have you thought about where you'll go? She could see the gears turning in my little head. Thinking this was all way too complicated. My sister was horrified. Mom, you can't let her go. What are you doing? My mom just hushed her and helped me pack up my toys. She calmly saw me to the door. I walked halfway up the driveway. It was a long driveway. Then I sat in the woods for 15 to 20 minutes before I got bored. Then I walked back to the house. The three of us still laugh about that to this day. Hoist by your own petard. Whatever that means. Just google this phrase. Thanks for helping me learn something today. I was about 11 or 12 years old. Got in trouble for something and decided to run away from home. Packed a backpack and left in the middle of the night. Could have been only around 9 p.m. Close bracket. Went to the neighbor's playhouse and had a miserable sleepless scary rest of the night. Decided to go home at sunrise and learned they didn't even know I left. So I only got about 500 feet away. I've always been more of a planner than a dollar. When I was 11, I wanted to run away. Because my parents were mean to me. Really mean. They made me clean my room and yelled at me for stuff. My friend at that age was my co-conspirator. But mostly she just agreed that I could come to her house to hide. My plan involved taking my dog. Half black lab. Half husky. Because they were mean to her. Two. They didn't pet her enough. I figured that since she was begin part sled dog. She could pull the wagon for me. Somehow. I would also take my cat. No one was mean to her. I just wasn't leaving without her. When I got to my friend's house. She would help me dig a little underground house and smuggle me food. I figured building the house would take a day or so. And there were plenty of trees 
to shore up the sides. I went so far as packing a bag, clothes, books, flashlight, but no food, because I would get some from my friend. When I got there, I was still working out a plan for water along the way, but I could never bring myself to do it. I recall seating myself under our kitchen table, and trying to fool my parents, that I had run away by loudly proclaiming, that I had done just so. Not sure if they fell for it. When I was about 4 to 5 I was sent to my room for a timeout for something. I forget what. Probably armed robbery. Anyway. There I'm in my room fuming mad. Hating everyone. And decided it was time I ran away. Problem was. The only door to my room led directly to the living room where my parents were watching TV. But I was determined to set out on my own. I climbed onto the top bunk. Slid open the window. Took the screen off with one of my barber's combs and climbed down the trellis to sweet freedom. I was so proud of myself for the ingenuity that I immediately ran inside and told my parents about my accomplishment. 